Welcome back to Crypto Mash Podcast, April 2023 edition, episode 13. Passwords are dying, here's what's killing them. The era of passwords is coming to an end, and with the rise of advanced technology and the increasing sophistication of cyber attacks, it's clear that passwords are no longer sufficient to keep our data safe. For years, we've relied on passwords to protect our personal and financial information online. From banking to social media, passwords have been the gatekeepers of our digital lives. But now it's time to admit that the era of passwords is coming to an end. With the rise of advanced technology and the increasing sophistication of cyber attacks, it's clear that passwords are no longer sufficient to keep our data safe. The problems with passwords are numerous. First and foremost, passwords are easily guessable, hackable, and can be stolen. Common passwords like password123 or QWERTY are notoriously weak, and even stronger passwords can easily be compromised by skilled hackers. In fact, studies have shown that more than 80% of data breaches are due to weak passwords according to Verizon's 2022 Data Breach Investigations Report. Secondly, passwords are a hassle to remember. Most people use the same password across multiple accounts, which means that if one password is compromised, all of their accounts are at risk. Alternatively, people will use different passwords for each account, but then struggle to remember them all, resorting to pen and paper, sticky notes, and frequent password resets. But perhaps the biggest problem with passwords is the trust gap that they create. When we enter our passwords online, we trust that the website or app is secure and that our information won't be stolen or misused. Unfortunately, this trust is often misplaced. With the increasing frequency of data breaches and the prevalence of phishing scams, it's hard to know who to trust online the rise of AI. To top it off, the threat of AI to passwords is real and growing. As AI technology continues to advance, it is likely that we will see even more sophisticated attacks on password security. Brute force attacks, dictionary attacks, social engineering attacks, and password cracking algorithms are all ways in which AI can be used to compromise passwords. Brute force attacks involve using AI algorithms to try out various combinations of characters in a password until the correct one is found. With the ability to process large amounts of data quickly, AI can significantly speed up the process of cracking passwords. Similarly, dictionary attacks use AI to test a password against a pre-built list of commonly used passwords, dictionary words, and combinations of them. This is exacerbated by the speed of AI algorithms that can make these attacks more effective. Social engineering attacks involve using AI to generate highly convincing phishing emails or messages that trick users into revealing their passwords, While password cracking algorithms quickly identify patterns in password data and predict likely combinations of characters, this can make it easier for attackers to guess passwords that are based on easily guessable patterns such as birthdays, names, or common phrases. So, what's the solution? The answer seemingly lies in Web3. By leveraging blockchain technology, decentralized platforms allow for secure and transparent transactions, creating a new model of fraud prevention without the need for passwords. Web3 Fraud Prevention Web3 is rapidly making its way into the mainstream via new decentralized models that promise to replace outdated centralized technologies. The blockchain creates a trustless environment where users can verify the authenticity of the transactions they are making. For example, instead of logging in with a password, Web3 uses private keys that are unique to each user. This private key is securely stored on the user's device and is used to verify their identity and authorize transactions. This system seemingly eliminates the trust gap that exists with passwords, as users are no longer relying on a third party to keep their data safe. Instead, they are in complete control of their own data, and can verify the authenticity of any transaction before it takes place. But as more and more people flock to these Web3 platforms, the need for comprehensive Web3 fraud prevention only becomes compounded. Unfortunately, fraudsters are taking advantage of the lack of regulation and anonymity to commit scams and hack exchanges we see news of this on a daily basis. The need for secure and transparent systems is perhaps even more important in Web3, where individuals are told to trust nothing and verify everything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest news and insights on cryptocurrency, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And for even more exclusive content and real-time updates, join our thriving Telegram community by clicking the link below. We'd love to have you on board and share this rapidly evolving industry's excitement. Leave your questions in the comments section and take care. See you in the next video.